this school is a freaking joke. A student wrote those words so eloquently in the, on a wall in the hallway of a school. The current administration wanted to uh, whitewash, find the culprit, and punish. As the head of the curriculum or the culture of that, uh, that building, I wanted to find out what am I doing? What am I doing that's contributing to that emotion? What are we doing? What are we not doing that's contributing to that emotion? Because whether that student was right or not, was this school a joke? That's how that student felt. We've got some serious educational issues across our nation. One of which is in our state, we've got 30 to 40 percent of our uh, high school students that are dropping out. They're not even in the buildings to write us eloquent messages. <laughs> the 60 to 70 percent that do choose to remain, we're finding that data is showing us that a growing percentage of that population is harboring similar messages. The school the school thing is not connecting with them. This event, plus many others, prompted me to start my own school of innovation. And a school that we strive to engage the learner into the learning process. And we're succeeding with many strategies. I want to share one of those strategies with you today. Let's say that we could discover uh, the, the interest of the learner. And maybe help that learner for the first time discover what that interest and passion is. And then we can learn how to take those lessons we value so much. You know that, those common core standards? And, and if we could learn how to connect those two, our lessons, to their interest and passion, what happens is what I call a connection to the tissue of who the learner is. Those were once our lessons. Through this process, that lesson becomes theirs. And they learn to use it to problem solve and to be those critical thinkers that we so desperately need. Now, let me, let me show you one a minute. I want you to look around your seating area, and, and, and I want you to find a piece of plastic or a piece of metal. Look around, search for it, touch it. And then with that same body part, that same pan, I want you to touch a cushion part of your seat. Are you doing that? Which was colder, the metal or plastic or the cushion? Well, see, we learned in a science lesson in our, in our educational experience, that if we don't pump energy into something, then everything takes on the ambient temperature of the environment around it. They're really about the same temperature. <laughs> now, I see you're reaching back for that metal and plastic. Why did it feel so much cold? Well, again, another science lesson says that the property, the material and the properties of that metal or that plastic pulls your heat from you faster than the cushion. You're not really colder. It just makes it feel, now, picture yourself in a January morning and you swing your feet out of that nice toasty bed. Do you want to put the tissue of your feet on carpet or ceramic tile? Oh, because it's warmer? So you're never going to walk around barefoot in your house the same again. Mr. Ray Nance, the teacher of the year, teaches at our academy and he prompted his uh, freshman engineering students to, ref to reflect on this question. After looking at all the courses you're gonna take in your high school career, freshman, when it's all said and done, what do you think is gonna be the most important lesson that the academy is going to teach you that's gonna help you prepare for and survive the zombie apocalypse if it were to occur? <laughs> Taking the lessons we value so much Connecting it to their interests and passions, the mechanical advantages, the projectile motions, the quadratic functions, become a part of the tissue of who they are. Now let me talk to you a little bit about, uh, about Ashley. Ashley came to us as a sophomore just for the first time this year. And she, uh, as a matter of fact, she might have been the person that wrote this school is a freaking joke on the wall because people thought she was disengaged in the learning process. She, it was a potential dropout. Well, she came to the academy because we offer um, veterinary science programs, and she loves animals. All of our scholars across campus now, they do research on their own interests. They do projects to answer questions that they have a question about. She came to me, and we had this conversation. Mr. Stevenson, I, my question, what research I want to do, is I would like to, to answer a question that I think I've been lied to about for years. Ashley, 
What have you been lied to about? I think, well, do dogs see color? See, that interest and passion has driven her from being once thought of as a dropout. Now she's a run in. We, we, we can't keep her out of the academy. She's coming in for tutoring. Her final exam scores are coming up. She's using a math, science, reading, and writing to answer a question that is hers, a passion that she has. Those lessons once were ours. Now they're becoming a part of who she is. Listen, many of us across this nation are transforming what we know school is to what we know school needs to be. Hey. Why don't you come join us and help us write new messages across the walls of the hearts and minds of our children, readying them for the jobs in the 21st century that await them. Come join us.